Hey, evening guys, welcome back to the uh, project. This is a psychiatric cell therapeutic multimedia project to solve problems, challenges, obstacles in our lives, as well as the suffering from process. Just reach the high schools and visions of the stuff for ourselves, as well as those around us. So, the only brief introduction of brief summary has to how we break down the animal project into domains of life, sub series, analogies, so on and so forth. You can check that out on the previous live streams for the past three and a half years, straight up to January 2021 and beyond from our day versions, which includes a copy of free music, content live stream schedule, and how we divvy the live stream into domains of life, sub series analogies as well as a 15 minute live stream into three phases 11 segments and so on and so forth that being said um we're going to dive into the second segment today as usual and uh, we're just continuing from where we left off yesterday and actually the past two days and we started to get back into streaming so um after about a week I ate it, so this is phase two as usual what you see is what you get to go on screen there's a lot of uh, content that's digital and abstract in nature so a lot of photo- photography storytelling um, commentary on top of finance, volunteering, relationships, so on and so forth, employment, um, blah, 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 right? And then um, uh, the phase three will probably be in like maybe the fourth stream, third or fourth stream of today, uh, later on, maybe about three, four hours from now. And that will be covering uh, things that are more physical in nature, more tangible and concrete, things you can touch and I can show you, I think, behind the room if I were to pull this screen shut down, phase three, right? the kind of uh, tangible parts in life so segment two that's the first thing i just wanted to let you know two more points to make sure you understand like i said there were going to be three four live streams today at least um a lot to get done before tomorrow and the second thing um what else second, second thing there's a lot of cover uh, of course if you want like a brief you want to skip this abbrevi- abbreviated introduction you can just uh, be a abridged introduction sorry just uh, skip forward by about two minutes into the live stream and uh, we'll start the content right there uh, which by the way we won't be doing this introduction in the next uh, two three live streams obviously because we're really going once and last but not least um you know um this is solve eight five override a rule to break all the rules the system principle to free myself from the system and become purely practical get whatever most urgently needs done done so let's just get right into it take a look on screen we have a lot of stuff here uh, we'll start off and say maybe we'll we'll start on top left there's still about roughly from the past week seems like i have to take a ballpark about 250 photographs of different things like equipment food groceries relationships uh, gifts money blah 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 and uh, we'll start off with today's stuff um, over here in phase two and again you can see phase three is a huge fucking ass so we have a lot to get through today before the day ends we'll start off here um sorry not this one let me get rid of that <laughs> whoops <laughs> see i'm getting, I'm getting uh, there's a bad start all right all right back into the swing thing so we go off from where we left off yesterday and we were talking about volunteering i think that's where we ended the live stream off so um, per the title, I believe the title even right now says something along the lines of like infection course or something like that maybe that was Jesse's live stream. I don't know. The point is we have something here having to do with um, uh, code of conduct. And so that is in the title, I'm sure. Um, this has to do with the volunteering course that I had to take uh, one of the many courses so of our mandate. This is like a mandate for our volunteers. So I'll just run through some of this kind of stuff. I can't show you too much detail because obviously um copyright notice also just kind of confidentiality privacy um, but you can see here like code of contact applies to behaviors both blah 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 like you know, i'm not going to show you the whole thing because like i said this content um if it can i don't want to give it in any way that is identifiable okay so but you can see this even if it's blurred out a little bit you can make out what's it generally about you know about code of contact but you think about legality um over here it says if you feel you cannot approach your somebody like your manager you have the responsibility to ask questions and seek help uh, when needed so obviously they're talking about volunteer positions where you're facing a challenge that you can't seem to work yourself out of um this could be seen as a co as a conflict of interest so here once again this is very reflective right Com- confidentiality privacy um all that kind of stuff so um breach a breaching trust uh, making sure that you have to disclose anything that could be seen as, as a conflict of interest uh he is following blah um, this is like largely a quiz so the top screenshots here are of the quiz that i had to take after finishing the, the core conduct module all right and then they have some examples here his voice and telling jamie so they have some examples of uh, situations so think of a hypothetical situation sorry during an interview that's what some of, the, some of these questions are like 
here please see the whatever so over here at the very bottom uh, this, we have also um stuff talking about the policy i believe this one is uh you can download the pdf uh for the particular policy to that specific hospital that i volunteer at um and they had a link for this on the left the middle hand side you see here the files i've saved so you know workplace code of conduct so that's definitely what it was uh, i think that's the right guess uh, in inappropriate comments, so on and so forth. This is like the PDF opened inside. It is talking about and listing a bunch of behaviors that were inappropriate. And it's a very, very like comprehensive list. But uh, sometimes, you know, it, it's it's not as you know clear and straightforward as to what is harassment and what is not. But uh, they had a very comprehensive list. Over here, once again, I said examples, right? So this is this is just one sample question. And I was surprised that the first three questions had a video to it too. So, um, here are some of their questions. I can't say anything. I'd be breaching confidentiality is the correct answer, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, all that kind of stuff. Down here, you actually see the course slides. So, just snippets of it, of course, in no particular detail. You can make a little bit, like our values, uh, policies and procedures, equity and uh, um, whatever. Conflict of, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a hard left. Just gonna. I avoid that word because that's just so overused nowadays. The supervisor responsibilities. What can we follow during? Um, who can? Who must follow the code of conduct? Volunteering, volunteers, staff, so on, so forth. Managers, visitors. What is included? Uh, what is expected of me? Uh, code of conduct. Where does that apply? What are the expectations? Blah 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 blah. And more stuff here on compliance. And so, uh, once again, at the very beginning here, how you do the navigation, right? Just the tools like what you have to do to navigate throughout this module. Right, think of like just an instruction manual. All right, so we're about seven minutes into the live stream. That took way too long. Um, we're gonna move on to things that are a little bit more lighthearted now. Okay, I gotta zoom a little bit. So, uh, very top left and right hand side, I have a very small. I was about to expand it, recognized that I didn't because once again, this is like this includes other people. So I'm gonna try not to go close in on the faces. But basically, I have some like my brother and my cousin up there. Uh, this is a couple of years back, at least five years back. It's incredible how fast time flies. And I requested for my 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 uh, domestic guardian, so my biological father, uh, if you could send me this over WhatsApp uh, or WeChat or whatever it was, like a, a Viber. And uh, he said he did. Um, he was talking to me actually during the conversation about how quickly time passes by. I had a conversation with my, with my uh, biological father just a couple, uh, last, I mean, a couple of days ago. And uh, he was uh, talking about he, how he went to see his best man um, after uh, maybe at least seven years time and um, they had a dim sum or dim sum, you know, dim sum time. So drank some tea, have something to eat. Uh, it's like, like a, a friend, family gathering, something for Cantonese, Chinese people, we do this all the time. And uh, he was talking about that because like all his best man's daughters and he's like four or five daughters, not gonna go too much into that, again, privacy. So. Um, they're all most of them are married and he was just like talking about that and he was i could feel i could feel the melancholy from my father from my biological father way as you're talking about this um because obviously he's thinking about me in this sense and i'm like yeah well no so then he started to pull some photographs you know and this is one of the things that came up so there's a lot of backstories that um that i went too much into details that took a minute and a half it shouldn't have um but you can see that that hit a little closer to home so all right now to gear you can see here <laughs> we're just going to take a hard detour from relationships now over on to gear um like i said my channel cptsd complex post-traumatic syndrome disorder i have that particular it's a it's a very you don't want to get into it but the point is i you know don't feel i have to find a way to make myself feel at least workable and uh, I developed this kind of gear setup over the past four years. There's a like, shoulder strap, back support belt. Uh, there's a recorder there. There's a couple. There's even a couple like a um, pair of shears or or like these scissors I was you I would use at the workplace because I do work in a warehouse. So instead of using a box cutter, I can just kind of put it in. It's like a drop leg. Um, so <laughs> I'm just updating with a shoulder pad right here because the shoulder pad is a new addition. <laughs> so there's that. Um, that's equipment and it does hopefully one day I can take this off because this is a manifestation of insecurities right one of these days I should be able to take this off and feel comfortable as is 
So that's the challenge that I should be able to do that. And in fact, right now I'm not wearing any of that gear. So it, it's like, um, I guess the therapeutic things that I don't really need anymore, um, thankfully. But the past four years I've been working in the workplace have really manifested that CPTSD out of me because my colleagues, unfortunately, were not who I thought they were, um, unfortunately. But anyways, it's all right. Uh, you know, there's good and bad, right? So over here, we have an Excel side. Um, we have the database. So we're having to do with fitness and sleep cycles and patterns and of diet and eating. I could say very safely that I don't have to go into detail here. All I can say uh, is that all of this is reminiscent of the fact that even to this point, I'm not eating right, I'm not sleeping right, I'm not waking up at the right times. Um, so that's the main hitter there. So there's some fitness there. At the bottom here, we have something to do with uh, not just the database for fitness, but also for the places I go to. So there's like a like a, a plaza or short hopping mall here, I believe, uh, something square. And I just noted down here the rating as well as the place that I went to. So for travel, you know, you guys ever built like a database? You guys, you know, Excel database of places you've been to. That's basically what it would be like. Um, although it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like an Excel, right? You probably put it on social media. That's what I think most people, normal people do. Over here, um, well, I don't know what normal looks like. I would, suge I would suggest that you, you kind of limit your amount of time you spend on social media. But anyways, uh, that's my opinion on that. Over here, we have some stuff having to do with the course once again. You can see here, there's the last course I was talking about, infection control, infection control protocols. Um, that's basically that last course there. Uh, trying to get through to um, and uh, email uh, trying to upload uh, the I believe the orientation session uh, that I had so here's a certificate right um, you can't see it obviously you can see only the tiny side once again privacy confidentiality and there's the score the result of the quiz it was not a difficult quiz that's why it's so easy to score that high but anyways uh, it was a compliance thing okay moving on to the side here we have some uh, what is this music so I believe in the title does talk a little bit about music. So we're just to run through this real quickly. We have something here you can see once again on Microsoft Groove. Um, let's get blown, ending theme of Boondocks. So uh, horse choker. <laughs> we have this stuff here on Groove and I just like updating the playlist. Uh, that's what it was. Um, some songs were being uh, added onto it as well. I believe it was a couple of days ago. Um, Royce the 5'9", Dumb. I really like that one, Dumb. Royce the 5'9", featuring Boogie. Um, and there's a lot of bars in there. They, they really spin in there. Okay? We have some stuff you're having to do with um, also the addition of like a new playlist. And you can see Soul Food and Soul Food 2 from Logic. Um, also M and uh, Snoop and Dre. All right, so you can see some stuff here as well. Uh, there's a bunch of other playlists I believe uh, should include in here a playlist that's focused less on rap and hip hop, but more on. Um, What's it called? Constantly contemporary, um, but it's not here. Anyways, here's the playlist when it was finished, and as you can see, some of this stuff here. Uh, most of that is from Logic, so 34 bars intermission. Um, over here, we have a continuation of it. So you have the M, you know, lose yourself, not afraid. I'm not afraid, you know. Um, state of emergency uh, with two chains. Um, Bra J by JID and Denzel Curry, because the new up and comers. Um, really, they really know how to do their thing. Um, also here things that things that are a little bit more like uh, less lyrical and more just vibe and bumping so we have like the box you know uh, drop it like it's hot by Snoop uh, so this is stuff in 2D3 so those are definitely less lyricism heavy uh, those are more just kind of like uh, for the vibe you know chilling on a night and bumping to the ride all right then we have some stuff here on the right hand side so those are things that here's the name of the playlist those are playlists that I just kind of so, you know one is just kind of tailoring every day um, depending on the, the particular emotions or I'm trying to ch um, get into uh, for the day um, over here we have some voice recordings so I mentioned uh, speaking with my biological father about uh, his best man and stuff like that so it was covered in here in this particular recording um, also I believe there was some other stuff I believe one of these recordings has to do with the dental office so I went to get the dentist I uh, see my dentist and we had a long conversation Cantonese about um stuff you know um and i have to end the live stream now actually i noticed i only have like nine seconds left so that's kind of distracting so we'll continue this in the next live stream um i didn't get as much done on this one that i wanted to but uh that's okay i hopefully in the next one we won't have the introduction until we pick up the pace i'll see you about now